We're group A16, the making of a photosynthetic animal. So the question we investigated was, can animals be photosynthetic, specifically the Alicia chlorotica? But what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process of organisms that contain chlorophyll taking light energy and converting carbon dioxide into sugar to use as a food source. This experiment originated from scientists finding kleptoplasts or chloroplasts from the algae inside the digestive tract of the Alicia chlorotica. These sea slugs then use these kleptoplasts to photosynthesize and sustain themselves for the rest of their lives, which is typically 10 months to one year. Although previous experiments did show that there were little similarities between the genes of the kleptoplasts and the genes of the sea slugs, which led the scientists to the hypothesis that there would be little similarities between the sea slug genes and kleptoplast genes. In this experiment, scientists raised the larvae of sea slugs in the laboratory culture system in seawater. So after the larvae underwent metamorphosis, meaning that they matured into a juvenile stage, the larvae were separated into two groups. One were fed algae and one were not fed algae. Once sea slugs reached adulthood, both groups were starved. Then scientists looked for photosynthetic behavior. The genes were then compared between the kleptoplast genes and the genes of the sea slugs. This table summarizes the findings of this experiment of comparing the genes of the sea slugs to the genes of the chloroplasts. There are numerous similarities found in the DNA of the sea slugs and in the DNA of the chloroplasts. Over a hundred genes which coded for proteins originally found in chloroplasts were found in the DNA of the sea slugs. Twenty-seven transcript sets found in the DNA of the sea slugs were identical to those found in the chloroplasts. In addition, these genes were involved in the processes of photosynthesis, carbon fixation, carbohydrate metabolism, and other processes originally performed in the chloroplasts. So contrary to the previous two studies, what it found out was that the DNA set of the sea slug actually contains a lot of nucleon-coated algal proteins, and these proteins are the source for keeping the photosynthesis going. The main difference that were being done in the previous study and this one was that in the previous ones they used a different host species which was not sea slug at all. As a result, they exhibit different behavior and also the way they extracted the DNA was a lot different. It is worthy to note that the chloroplasts are translation translational active inside the sea slug. And so as a result, we can say that the sea slug actually exhibit horizontal gene transfer. So some of the gene from the algae actually transfer into the genome. As a result, they are being they are able to maintain photosynthesis for the rest of their lifetime. So we've learned so far that sea slugs can photosynthesize, despite photosynthesis being an ability that animals cannot actually perform. Current research is underway to explain the genesis of kleptoplastic association and how photosynthesis can continue despite being in an unnatural environment. An important point to take away from this research is the potential exists for permanent photosynthesis in animals and possibly also one day in humans.